Hi guys, Steel Jan here. I'm going to try to get through this. My doggies keep barking and I have to keep restarting. So uh, I'm going to try to get straight through this. Today I'm going to show you how I built this box mod personal vaporizer. This uh, I quit smoking years ago, but I use this for dieting. But I have had friends that uh, get a personal vaporizer. It's also called an e-cigarette, but I hate it that cigarettes in the word. They've gotten one of these and stopped smoking just immediately. So here's my box mod. And this is a an awesome Vapor Ego. Um, the difference in these two is that this one has a smaller battery and the one I built has an 18650 protected lithium ion rechargeable battery at 2400 milliamp hours. So whereas this device, before you have to change this battery off, will last you about a half a day if you're a steady vapor. Um, this one will last you like two days, so that's quite a difference. So I'm going to show you how to make this mod, how I made this mod, but before I do that in this video I'd like to show you the schematic and talk a little bit about how these work. So I'll draw you the schematic here. We have a battery and this is a 3.7 volt battery. I'm not going to cover low resistance atomizers, nor high voltage mods, nor variable voltage mods. This is a basic 3.7 volt atom, um, personal vaporizer. That's it. Let's just call this a uh, plain 510. A plain 510 mod. And the 510 is really the size of the atomizer connection. We're, just go along with me on this one. That's for a whole other discussion. So we have a 3.7 volt battery and we come over here to a switch. Normally open. Then we come up to an atomizer connection. And that's it. That's really it. You push the button and the voltage goes to the atomizer from the atomizer connection and you vape. Now most people want an LED on it so they can see when the button is pushed. This one has the LED inside the button. So to put an LED in here you tie it right in here see if I can still draw an LED. And a 470 ohm resistor for the atomizer, for the uh, LED. That's it. Now that's the complete schematic. That right there is this. That right there is also this. So um, let's disassemble this because I'd like to talk to you about this just a second. This is the uh, the tip which you either stuff with the, um, it's either stuff with fibers, has the e-liquid in it so that it will come down onto the atomizer or it will, or it could be a drip tip where people drip two drops of e-liquid in there at a time and vape that. So that's the tip. This one has this very nice um, cone of metal on it. A lot of people think this is to catch excess drippage <laughs> or <laughs> oozing of e-liquids out the little holes down here, but I much strongly suspect that this is a heat sink to wick some of the heat off of the atomizer to keep it from getting to the lithium ion battery. You don't want lithium ion batteries to get hot because they will explode and catch fire. So. That's what I think this is for. Then here is the atomizer. So this is this. And this is this. Here's the atomizer on this one and the tip. So let's look at the atomizer and see how it works. The atomizer is a little coil of wires and it has 
It's going to connect into here. It has about a 2.5 ohm resistance in this design. It also has a large mesh of wire. Let me try to take this off here. It doesn't actually do like that. It does like this. Actually, this is not to scale. This would be very tiny and this is much bigger. It has a mesh over the top, a stiff mesh wire. And so when you push the button, the current flows up through the atomizer. This gets very hot pretty instantaneously. It gets to like 250 degrees Fahrenheit or about 105 degrees centigrade so that the e-liquid that's oozed down onto this, this wire mesh instantly vaporizes. And that's where you get the vape. There's also typically two little holes down here so that the airflow, the air can flow in and up. So that's how these atomizers work. There's also typically a fiber, uh, polyester I would suspect, fiber that goes through this hoop of wire mesh to sort of help seep the e-liquid down onto this this mesh of wire, uh, wire mesh. So um, I don't know if I could show it to you up close. I can try. So that's the atomizer. So typically modders don't make their own atomizers. And this is a key component. They make this. They make this. So now that I've shown you the schematic and talked about how it works, stay tuned for part two video where I will show you the building of this specific box mod. So until part two, I'll see you. This is Steel Jan out. Have a good day, guys.